All right, so I want to preface this video by stating we're going to do something that I don't do very often on this channel, which is play on a 9x9 board. And th it's an entirely different game. I can't stress that enough that the Joseki and the Fuseki that you're going to see are completely different than almost any Joseki and Fuseki you'd see me play, like on a regular 19x19 board. Uh, the patterns, the mistakes, the, you know, the, the, the life and death problems... Oh, they just feel so different on the 9x9 board. Let's let's just kick it off and see if we can... Oh, that was fast. All right, find a game real fast. Oh, look at this. Look at this. Uh, this is a nice side Fuseki kind of move. And we'll match it. We'll, we'll you know, sometimes you got to play the opponent. Uh, <laughs> you know, play the game <laughs> as it was meant to be played. Let's just develop this. I'd like to, let's see, play this way. Um, yeah, we're just kind of tanukiing here in the opening. This is very common for modern robots in Go where, you know, there's just a lot of tanukiing. Are we, are we, we're being symmetrical. That's kind of terrible. Bah, bah, bah. Is he going to play that way as well? Oh, no, he's going to defend. Very, very prudent. Very good. Uh, we could try to push up here. No one, no one's actually moved into the center of the board yet. We've been kind of having these fights around the corners and the sides. And still lots of tanuki, tanukiing. I haven't played, I haven't played a variation like this in a long time. So I have to do a little more reading than I'm accustomed to. Let's play this way. And maybe this way we can think about actually getting into the center. Our opponent's been very slow in terms of... Okay, there's that move. Um, in terms of developing the center. And I'm not sure if it's because he's scared to or what's the reason. But I think we're going to we're gonna be ambitious here. And really try to break into my opponent's moyo. Uh, so far everyone's playing very safe, very defensive. And that's fine. Like I like, I like those kind of games. Uh, wow, yep, so, like, this is, this is so, where everybody's digging in. This is going to come down to a lot of life and death reading. It certainly seems like. <laughs> doot, 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 doot. Let's do it, let's push, make the center push. This is a nice move to defend against the continuation, though. Which is a little bit too bad, but, you know, that's how it goes. Let's pre-defend here. Okay, that's what he played. Um, yeah, on this on this particular Go server, if you can actually like preload a move, um, which is kind of dangerous sometimes, but in these fast time limit games, because this is sudden death, by the way, these are these are ten minute sudden death games, it can be really valuable. <laughs> Just save yourself a few extra seconds off the clock, and. This is, I, I, I really need to make a shape move down here um, to make sure I have two eyes. Um, this position has a little bit of a weakness on the flank, on, on the center. Mm. This is nice. This is nice letting him fix his shape as well as protecting this spot. Um, there's, there's, there's not very many liberties here <laughs> uh, for either player. It, it gets short, shortened very fast. So it's a very big weakness. So, but he defended it nicely. Um, I think I think we're just gonna make shape. Yep, making shape, and we have actually all this space to expand into. So we're gonna get this piece here that's gonna effectively build a wall right down the middle of the board, and that's gonna help us control this anything that comes into this area. Oh, he's gonna make the push for the center. All right. That's that's pretty good. Um, this is uh, this is before I wanted to play this way. I I really much the time I don't like the timing of this for for myself. Although I think we just push up. I think we ignore <laughs> this Tanuki. <laughs> hmm. 
And he still needs to make shape down here at some point, but he's under a little bit of pressure. Uh, hmm. That's kind of, that's better than I thought, actually. <laughs> this is a better move than I initially anticipated. Uh, what do we do? What do we do? What do we do, gang? I still want to slide this over. I really like this to come up. It does leave this as a weakness, and he's got this, uh, this wall sort of being built down the middle here. So I'm not in love with any of it. I think we play it. I think we play it. Oh, but he's gonna, he's gonna take this and put this here. He's gonna place a stone right here, and that's gonna be really annoying. So what do I just take? Just capture this? It's really not that good. <laughs> it's really not good to capture. All right, let's play here and wait and see. Again, we gotta be mindful of the time. Again, these, these smaller board games have faster time limits and... Oh, he's gonna give me a tempo here. Interesting, okay. Uh, I, think, I think we take it now. We're, we're kind of prepared for this. And I use the word kind of very loosely. All right, so we want, we want to put this right here. I still got to move that out. All right, still, this is not the worst place, right? We could do worse than this. This is pretty bad, though. This is here. This is a pretty bad place. <laughs> is this better? That's even worse. I don't have a good place for this. This is, this is a problem. It is double defended, though. <laughs> Uh, but he's got this nice pawn that can march up. But not yet. This pawn is in a little bit of danger first. Got a little bit of a threat. Uh, still, the game is pretty even. You can see the prisoners are equal. Um, it also just kind of feels like his pieces are a little bit tighter, so I think that means he has a few more co-threats than I have. I'm a little more extended. Again, he has this one pawn that's overextended. But he can actually move it forward and reveal an attack over here. Um, which is really annoying, actually. <laughs> I'm gonna even just slide this here. Yep, okay. Um, actually, that doesn't work at all, right? Oh, no, no, that, that defends the pawn. Yes, yes. <laughs> Very good. Hmm. Again, not the worst threat in the world. We can move that up. All right. Let's try this. Oh, maybe here. This looks nice. Is it nice? Oh man, these small board games. I really don't know how to play very well. I like I'm I I definitely have a lack of confidence. Especially, you know, they're just so knife fighty. And there are set patterns, right? There are set Josekis on this small board, but I don't know them as well as a lot of other people. I just don't play them well enough. Uh yeah, these nine by nine grids are this is a different game. It's, a, it's, it's like a totally different game than 19 by 19 Go. Is this, is this work? Is it, or just trading? Is there a danger for me to move this up? I don't think so. Uh, let's try it. He's just preventing the attack there. So that's pretty reasonable. This pawn is a little bit cumbersome for every player. <laughs> that's kind of, I kind of feel like that's what this is about. Oh, I can move this up now. All right, but then, yeah, he can be tricky and, and move the pawn forward. It doesn't actually accomplish anything. All right. All right, we're doing okay. We're doing okay. Hmm. It's got some weakness over here, but I just don't have any way to attack it. I'm too busy. Yeah, so like I was saying, these small board games are so different than full-size Go games. And often when you apply Joseki from a 19 by 19 game down on these small boards, it doesn't go how you think it's gonna go. Um, 
like I have this, I have this nice wall of stones here that, <laughs> you know, on a, on a 19 by 19 board is like would extend its power so far across the board, but this is on such a small knife fight kind of board. Like, uh, you know, the power only can only extend so far before it hits the edge, right? Like there's not, it's not that much space over here for this wall to project power this way. Oh, okay. Well, how is he going to reveal this attack? I don't know. I don't know. I certainly want to do lots of things. <laughs> What, I, this this bishop is his whole key. If I move this up one, I can threaten it. Of course, he can actually just he can always just put the bishop there, and then it's kind of a non-issue. Uh, yeah, let's just do this. I don't know. <laughs> don't know. Let's just advance again. We have to take advantage of this weakness down here somehow. I'm a little bit worried about this corner position. It can be attacked. So it's actually a little bit weaker than it looks. Hmm. Such a defensive game, though. All right. That's a place he can go. It actually has the unfortunate distinction of protecting <laughs> this spot right here. Can we get it to move prematurely? I think so. I think this is okay. I think this is okay. Yeah, I really don't like his knight being there. Let's make it go away. And this seems like the obvious spot for it. Because I can't attack this space very easily. Like, this, this stone actually having it there is kind of important. I probably shouldn't be moving it, but... Yep, yeah, okay. Well, we called that one, gang. <laughs> Oh, we can trade this bishop now. You know what? I'm fine with this. Oh, no, I'm not fine with this. I'm not fine with this at all. <laughs> this, bishop, this bishop is defending uh, this rook over here. Maybe let's move this all the way back. We'll see if he wants to take that or not. Or if he wants to push this forward, that's also good. Hmm. So the other interesting thing about uh, these small boards is that, you know, usually on a big size go board, when you're placing stones at the intersections, all the intersections are the same color. On a small board, they're not, right? Some See how some of them are dark and some of them are light? And that makes... Okay, it scared me for a second. <laughs> that makes a rather large distinction um, for how certain pieces behave. Okay. So we'll, we will defend there. I do want to find a time to move this rook over, I think. It's hard, just hard to make progress on this board. Very closed. Very closed kind of game. Yeah, everybody was playing really careful. Mm. Uh, I we do, do I just I just force a queen trader here, right? I think so. I think this is good for me. Now we both sort of have a <laughs> an advanced position inside that awkward. Awkward position inside the enemy's domain. Yeah, increasingly awkward for all players. 
this does actually open up. This is actually really, really good for me because now these two bishops have exposed weaknesses here and here. I think this is the more important one to take first, actually. Oh, but it's actually not that good. <laughs> Rook and then attack. He gets to attack here because I haven't moved this over yet. So, yep. This, oh, yeah, that's so he's going to take that immediately so it can't, he doesn't have to worry about that. And that's fine. We still have a nice attack here. Oh, wow. Oh, that's pretty cool. Uh, I think I move this here. I think this is good. Still, even game, it's so hard. See if he wants that. Hmm. Not sure if I should be trading all these pieces off. <laughs> oh, definitely should not have traded that one, huh? That that one is a problem. Oh dear. Oh dear. Uh, let's try it. Let's let's see what we can do here. All right, back to even game. I mean, this is looking more and more draw-like. I have one pawn that has no friends, and he has one pawn that has, oh, I guess I have two pawns, but, no, so I have two pawns that have no friends, and he has one pawn that has no friends. Um, do, do, do. Oh, oh, oh. So this is, this is a simple pawn trade, right? If I move this up. And rook trade. Pawn and rook trade. That's probably bad for me. So, let's move this up. <laughs> this puts, oh man, time. Time is running. This is getting exciting. Ooh. I'm usually okay at managing time on these small board games, but again, since I'm recording the video and, uh, you know, having to manage that too, I'm Probably taking up a little bit too much time. But we'll see. Really like to separate these two, take at least one of these pawns in one way, separate them. Having pawns by themselves is not nearly as useful as having them with friends. Always have your pawns be friendly. Okay. This is a two for two trade. I think. Does it work that way? Dun, dun, dun. All right, is everybody gonna do it? Cause, cause. <laughs> oh crap! Crap! <laughs> I did not think about this. <laughs> oh, total mystery blunder! Oh no, I can't play that way at all. Oh no! Oh no! Whoops! Oops, that one stupid pawn. All right, resign. I'm not I'm not as good at the this, this small board go. I'm really not. Uh, uh, well, anyway, hopefully you've enjoyed this game. Uh, only one blender, according to the computer. One blender. That's, that's, that's really tight, <laughs> like, for this level. <laughs> only making one blender mistake. Oh, but I bet it happened right at the end. Uh, that's a sad, sad ending. But anyway, I hope, I hope you go and enjoy the rest of your day. Uh, you know, happy going.